Jury selection got underway, Monday in the second federal trial of Chicago-born R&B superstar, Robert Kelly, who this time faces charges, alleging he filmed adult acts with underage girls, and conspired to rig his 2008 trial. According to reports, Kelly wore a gray suit, brown shirt, white face mask and glasses as he listened to U.S. District Judge Harry Lane Wenwa question the individuals who could help decide the case. He sat to the left of defense attorney Jennifer Bonjean, leaning toward her as they whispered during the proceedings in the courtroom of the Dirksen Federal Courthouse. By the time Lane Wenwa broke for lunch, about half of those questioned had already been excused by the judge, with many of them saying, they didn't think they could be fair or impartial. At least five potential jurors said they had seen the Lifetime docuseries. Still, some potential members of the panel said they were barely aware of Kelly, including a man with a doctorate in classical music who said that all he knew was that Robert Kelly was a musician, and that's it. That man was excused, as well as was a woman who said she took taekwondo lessons with Kelly's children. She said her sister was an instructor in the class, and her mother used to speak with Kelly's ex-wife, with whom he had a bitter divorce and lengthy child support battle. Jury selection began around 10.30 a.m., after a brief hearing on pre-trial motions in front of Lane Wenwa. The Chicago Sun-Times described the scene around the courthouse as quiet, with none of the crowds and fanfare of the Chicago native last trial in his hometown in 2008 when he was acquitted. This time it was the total opposite. There was no strong support system, like it had been before. On Monday, there were no fans or protesters. There were none to be seen on sidewalks outside the federal courthouse. This is not because the disgraced artist no longer has supportive fans, but perhaps because Kelly won't be coming and going from court. The singer has been in federal custody since his 2019 arrest outside his Trump Tower condo, and was recently sentenced to 30 years. His lawyer, Jennifer Bonjean, predicted Friday via social media that it will be difficult to find 12 people who can be fair, given the media war on Kelly. She said the government starts with an incredible advantage, but they are going to fight like hell to get a jury that will follow the law. The judge denied a request from Bonjean to reject any prospective juror who had seen the R. Kelly documentary. The 11-episode docuseries featured wrenching interviews with women who are likely to testify in the case, as well as numerous other details that might not be allowed in as evidence. Jury questionnaire responses indicated that 70 of the 125 prospective jurors said they had not seen the series. The judge said he expected to seat 12 jurors and six alternates by Tuesday. The trial is expected to last four weeks. The alleged girl, identified in court filings as minor one, earlier denied claims she had intercourse with Kelly when she was as young as 13, as did her parents. But those denials were allegedly the result of payoffs and gifts that included sending the girl and her family to Mexico and the Bahamas to put them beyond the reach of Chicago police detectives who were investigating Kelly in 2001. The charges allege Kelly coached the girl to lie to police, investigating the singer, and the singer's lawyers were in the grand jury room when the girl and her parents denied the allegations. Kelly wound up sending the girl monthly payments as late as 2015, according to prosecutors. She is expected to testify that her past denials were false, and that Kelly sexually mistreated her, hundreds of times, while she was a minor. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check some of our previous videos that you may have missed. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned to our channel, for more press release content.